Hi, I'm John Esdale. I'm the scientific director of the Arthritis Research Center of Canada and a professor of medicine at the University of British Columbia. I've been working with patients with lupus for decades. Lupus is a multi-system disease. It affects principally young women in their childbearing years, so at the prime of their life. It can affect multiple organs, so it affects the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, the brain, the joints, the skin, and the blood-forming elements. We've been doing research on heart attacks and strokes in lupus for almost two decades. It used to be that people with lupus had an increased risk of dying from either kidney disease or infections. But we realized as we controlled these, they were dying of heart attacks and strokes. In fact, they were 10 times more likely to have a heart attack and eight times more likely to have a stroke. What was worse, they were twice as likely to die of their heart attack as someone having a heart attack who didn't have lupus. As you can imagine, we were very interested in understanding what causes this increase in risk of heart attacks and strokes. A great many years of research have shown that there are two major factors, the disease itself and a drug commonly used to treat lupus, prednisone. While prednisone can be life-saving for people with lupus, it does cause high blood sugar, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. To reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes from lupus, we want to limit the use of prednisone. We still need prednisone for very severe lupus. Otherwise, we want to replace prednisone with other drugs that are as effective and don't have the side effects. Of course, people with lupus can do all of the things the rest of us should be doing to prevent heart attacks and strokes. That includes keeping your weight down, getting aerobic exercise, and having a good diet.